Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. On our prayer request, pray for Jessica's cousin who lost his son last Sunday, uh, Sunday a week ago. And Jessica, let us know if uh, if your cousin still needs more, more prayer. Um, pray for the family of Temple University's acting president. She passed away suddenly. Kim has an unspoken request. Pray for Jessica's cousin who is in a lot of pain. And pray for Shana. She's not feeling well. All right, our scripture of the day comes from Isaiah 30, 19 through 26. People of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. How gracious he will be when you cry for help. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes you will see them. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Then you will des desecrate your idols overlaid with silver and your images covered with gold. You will throw them away like a menstrual cloth and say to them, Away with you. He will also send you rain for the seed you sow in the ground, and the food that comes from the land will be rich and plentiful. In that day your cattle will graze in broad meadows. The oxen and donkeys that work the soil will eat fodder and mash, spread out with fork and shovel. On the day of great slaughter, when the towers fall, streams of water will flow on every high mountain and every lofty hill. The moon will shine like the sun, and the sunlight will be seven times brighter than the light of seven full days when the Lord binds up the bruises of his people and heals the wounds he inflicted. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, A Distinct Cry. Let me drink water. When a baby cries, it's a signal that the child is tired or hungry, right? Well, according to doctors at Brown University, subtle differences in a newborn's cries can also provide important clues for other problems. Doctors have devised a computer program that measures cry factors like pitch, volume, and how clear the cry sound is, is to determine if something's wrong with the baby's central nervous system. Isaiah prophesied that God would hear the distinct cries of his people, determine their heart's condition, and respond with grace. Judah, rather than consulting God, had ignored his prophet and sought help in an alliance with Egypt. God told them that if they chose to continue in their rebellion, he'd bring about their defeat and humiliation. However, he also longed to be gracious to them, to show them compassion. Rescue would come, but only through their cries of repentance and faith. If God's people did cry out to him, he would forgive their sins and renew their spiritual strength and vitality. The same holds true for believers in Jesus today. When our distinct cries for, of repentance and trust reach the ears of our Heavenly Father, He hears them, forgives us, and renews our joy and hope in Him. Why are you tempted to rebel against God and seek help apart from Him? How does repentance before him lead to reconciliation and life? Dear God, forgive me for seeking safety, security, and protection apart from you. Please restore my love for you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.